Sydney as you can see. Thailand. But I was sitting in Thailand. Uh, I was in there for like three weeks. Uh, but today I want to talk kind of like some red pill topics. I want to talk about how uh, society is dominated by women and how they have technically co-opted uh, the government in order to get resources out of the government for their own benefit, which is at the detriment of most men in society, especially here in Sydney Feminist Australia. Um, but there's a point behind this. I'm just not going to have a bitch about women. The, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, if you want to get into the dating game, you want to get some results, you know, you have to know what the rules are, right? Uh, if you're playing chess, you've got to know what all the pieces do and how the game actually works. And so to start with, you guys out there, if you go in there blind and you just totally ignore any sort of red pill philosophy, and then you get burnt badly, then it's your own fault because you don't know the rules. <laughs> so I just want to set, set out the rules so that you guys understand. Uh, technically, we have had a, uh, a period of prosperity, especially in Australia. Uh, we haven't had a recession in probably, I don't know how many years. Uh, we've had peace for 250 years. Australia has never been under threat of being invaded ever. Uh, and uh, we've had free trade with all the countries throughout Asia and what that has done is given a lot of women a lot of freedom and instead of using that freedom to get into the sciences and create a better life for everybody out there instead of getting into um, uh, ways to increase the pie productively increase uh, the wealth of society a lot of women with their, their spare time have decided to just go in meh, 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 get in the ears of politicians protests in the street and try to divvy up the pie that the men who have built Australia uh, and divvy up the pie and steal more for themselves not only wealth uh, but also political power within the country uh, and it has kind of got out of control but if you just focus on that part of it, then you're going to find yourself going down a rabbit hole of red pill rage, they call it. We don't want to go down the rabbit, hill, rabbit hole of red pill rage. We want to just know how the game is played. Now you understand the game is played this way. Now you can work within the system to try and maximize your life and improve your life based on the rules that are set out. Because you can't change the rules. The rules are there for a reason, right? And you and me, we're not the president, and uh, even if we were the president, we'd have our Twitter taken away from us. So uh, we don't really have the ability to change the laws, we just need to play within it, okay? And so within these rules, we need to figure out how to get laid, find a good girl, uh, have the sex lives that we want, uh, avoid getting in trouble, not only uh, politically, but uh, avoid getting in trouble with the law. Uh, there are a lot of traps out there. And these are some of the things that I'm going to start to cover a little bit more on this channel. So I guess that's a good little start. Um, if you guys are you know, single and lonely, you want to get into cold approach, you want to learn how to approach girls, especially in Sydney, Australia, uh, and avoid all of the pitfalls that have been set up, uh, not only with the government, but society, uh, go to the top link in the description, check out the website. I've got 300 blog posts there. I've got a lot of content there. You can go through it for free. You can go through all of my videos. Uh, I've also got a digital product there. It's for, for total newbies. You can check that out. Uh, you can even check out my book if you want to know my story. Uh, and then, <laughs> if you've done all of that and you're ready to... Uh, step up a gear and learn cold approach get out here with me not only in the clubs but on the street and pick up girls in the street sign up and do some live coaching uh, I'll see you guys in the next video